The employees in the Argus Analyzers booth at SEMA 2008 believe they've found a measure of success. It comes in this little gauge, about the size of a matchbook, and it looks like an oversized wristwatch. In fact, the battery bug will tell you how much time you've got. The battery bug is going to let you know how much life is left in this battery, how much longer can it continue providing the start that you're looking for, and before you get stuck somewhere, it's able to alert you and let you know you've got to replace this battery. People generally become aware of their batteries when they die, but Hammond says when it comes to the health of their batteries, people don't know what they don't know. Typically right now, you look at a battery, it's got a voltage that you can measure, and it's a physical size. Over time, you're losing capacity in that battery. You can't see it in any good way. A voltmeter can't show it. Uh, you look at the battery, it's the same size, and you're saying, why can't this battery do as good of a job as it, as it previously has been? So to be able to show that to a person and show where the capacity has gone, um, it's, it's fantastic. Here's how it works. There's two technologies that are in there. One is for a starting battery. Um, how well is the starting battery able to start the particular engine that it's attached to? And the other is a deep cycle uh, battery testing technology. How charged is a battery? And again, how much, how much life is remaining? And we can, we can uh, provide that information down to the percent life remaining. Hammond explains that the battery bug is the evolution of a battery analyzer. And historically, you had to take your car to a machine shop to have a mechanic hook up one of those. So how does a battery bug differ from a voltmeter. The battery bug is not only measuring battery charge, but it's also measuring battery life. How much capacity is in a battery and how much has been lost over time. The battery bug, it'll keep you going. In Las Vegas, Alex Fees for SBTV.com.